100,000 vehicles drive over the Halifax Harbour bridges every day, with container ships passing underneath every day and night. None have ever collided with the bridges, but that type of incident has been identified as a risk. We have our bridge patrol is physically on the bridge with every single cargo ship that tra traverses under the bridge. They watch it. We're in constant communication with the port and the, the cargo ship. The bridge can be shut down quickly, he says, and there are planning exercises that happen often to prepare. One ship did lose power approaching the harbour within the last couple of years, something being reported as a possibility in Baltimore, but there was a quick response in Halifax. Everybody was put on alert. Uh, we did not shut down the bridge because it was at a distance at this point, and then power was regained. But it did show that the systems actually worked because, because everybody was notified, everybody was ready. Rock islands have also been built around the bridge piers for extra protection as a result of a report from 1979. When the bridges were built originally, they, they did not have those stone islands and they were added later on and the intention was that a ship would strike that and you know, would then run aground and stop before it actually made contact with the bridge. This shipping enthusiast has been taking photos and writing about the harbour since the 1960s. In Halifax, if a ship loses power, there is a protocol. There's a pilot on board. Uh, ships anywhere near the bridges generally have a tug, at least one tug in attendance, that can divert the course of the ship or slow it down. The mayor is confident the correct measures are in place, but his office has been in contact with the port and Halifax Harbour bridges today. As a city, as you say, a port city with two bridges that we rely on, uh, it certainly uh, makes you think, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that we're in pretty good shape and have done a lot of work to make sure that something like that couldn't happen here. The Halifax Port Authority says it has comprehensive safety and mitigation plans in place with regular training and testing, but will review any investigation into the Baltimore bridge collapse in case there are any lessons to be learned. Gareth Hampshire, CBC News, Halifax.